あ<笑>
Why is Barbara's voice out of sync on my PC? I can't get involved with this. This is freaking me out. I've got to concentrate on what I'm doing. So Paul is in the building with you and I'm going to hide all this because I can't cope with it. Right. So Paul, you're in the building. Thank you for all your help. If you've got any questions, then ask Paul. I've hidden them now because my head is just going into overdrive with everything else that's new here. I'm having one of my moments. So Zen, this is supposed to be enjoyable. This is supposed to be fun. Right. And, uh, and what we're going to do now is look at the little people and how we draw those. So the first thing I'm going to do is open a window because it's like an oven in here. I'm going to open that window and turn the heating off because I'm definitely having one of my personal summers. Right, turn the heating off. Oh, that's better. Right, and relax. Okay. And um, and what we're going to do now is change our glasses. Welcome to the Shack Shack. And uh, and what we're going to do is sort out our people. So if you remember, we had our two. Can you see this? Okay, I'll come in a little bit closer in a moment. We had our two horses and we've got our jousters so today it's all about the people we're going to put the jousters on the horses and we're going to sort out the audience this is our project today our doodle project in the shack shape right so have you got your ingredients you need your pencil and you need your eraser pencil for sure <laughs> and we're going to do Let's do the two guys, Sir Lancelot and who's the other one? Come on, give him a name. Sir Lancelot and Sir Laugh a lot. <laughs> okay, so you've got the heads and now we're going to draw the people in. So the first thing we've got to do is figure out where they're sitting. Yeah, so we'll figure out, let me just come in here. We'll figure out where they're sitting on the horses and where their legs are. See? Right. Okay, so I need to calm down. I had a bit of anxiety. I was anxious before we came live, just for other reasons, and then not having the volume, my bad, and new screens, and you not being able to see or hear it, it just, it doesn't help. So, so let's regroup and let's start again. It's never too late to reframe and begin again, you know? I'm not going to stumble my way through this hour because of a momentary glitch at the beginning. Right. So here we are. Welcome to the Shack Shack. Safe, happy and creative. Stay home and craft. And now we're going to regroup and then we're going to look at the jousters and then we're going to look at the audience and we're going to have uh, an hour of doodling and good company. Okay. And um, right. Now I feel better. Sometimes you just need to reframe, don't you? Just stop, redirect your thinking, calm it, calm it, and then start again. And I find that it's better to do that than it's better to stop the bus, put it in neutral, breathe. Don't you find breathing helps? <laughs> I do. I find breathing really essential. <laughs> and breathe. You know, we joke about it, but it's so true. You know, I get chest pains, but when I focus on my breathing, they go away. So now let's have a look at these jousters, all ready to rock and roll. And the first thing we need to do is decide where, the, where their rear end, where's their derriere. So this jouster, Let's just, it's really, like, draw really lightly. Let's come in a little bit closer. Right, okay. So we're going to come a little bit closer, and we're going to just, don't worry about his shape right now. You've got his head, right? And then he's going to sit there. That's where he's about there. And then his legs, he's, gonna, he's behind his there, and he's going to put his feet in the stirrups about there. Okay, so... Just get him in. He's got armour. He's got big knees. They've got big knobbly, haven't they? There you go. Like that. <laughs> okay. I think he's my hero. <laughs> right. So he's got his knees. 
He's got a little feet. He's got big feet. He's got big feet. Right. It's all in full outfit. He's got a lot of armor on. He's a heavy, heavy chappy. Right. So let's just get his shape in. There you go. That's about right. I mean, it doesn't exactly look like he's been to the gym, does he? <laughs> right. That's okay. We got him in the right place. <laughs> just stick, sit in there for a minute. Let's get the other one in. Now this one, again, find out where his behind is first. Decide where he's sitting. If he was sitting on a chair, you'd have to figure out where he was sitting. Right. Then bring his back in and his front. He's like a little bit of a... That'll do. Now get his leg in. He's, he's, got, he's got pantaloons on. Right, so we're going to put some... And then his little legs coming in there. And then his, you don't want his feet dangling. That would look funny. Right, so he put his foot in there. Right, it's not a very big horse. <laughs> I might have to, I might have to make his pantaloons a little bit shorter because this is ridiculous. He's, he's either he's Goliath or this horse is a Shetland pony. <laughs> right, get his legs up a bit. Come on, he's smaller than that, Gray. Okay, so that's his pantaloons. Stops there. Ankle here, foot. That's more. <laughs> That'll do. Right. Okay. Rocking. And he's got his armour on, like that. Okay. How's yours coming along? <laughs> right. So get his, get his armour on. Should we have a look at what we're doing? Let's look at him. Let's look at where the original one. Right. This will help. Okay. So he's got his arm, his feet and his trousers, and then he's got armour on. So should we, let's get the jow the javelins in. Are these, what are these called? They're not, they're not javelins, are they? What's this called? I've had a complete mental block. Is it a javelin? No, it's a, a jousting thing. <laughs> give us a clue. Paul, give us a clue, what's it called? Right, so what we've got to do, I knew yesterday, I've forgotten now. So what we're gonna do is just direct his jousting his to there and then his so we're going to make a cross so they're, they're going above their heads they're not going to actually spear each other like that okay so that's the the thingy I can't remember the name of it any help on the any any advances on the name the lance thank you <laughs> so oh, <laughs> I've just realized Sir Lancelot, I've just had a moment, that aha moment, 62 years it's taken me, Lance, Lancelot. So obviously he used to Lancelot. <laughs> right, okay, I've just had a moment of clarity. Can't believe I got to 62 years old and didn't realise why Lancelot was called Lancelot. <laughs> Sorry about that. Right, so now <laughs> we'll do the lances first. One's in front of the other one. They're crossing lances, not javelins. <laughs> okay. So we'll make a point. <laughs> Let's just get the, the lances in place. I'm so glad I know the name of it now. Right, that one's in front and this one's behind. So we'll make sure this one's behind. Cool, I tell you what, there's nothing like laughter for diffusing anxiety. You know what I mean? There is nothing like it. There you go. One's in front and one's behind. Perfect. And just because... We're playing for safety. We'll put a little rubber, a rubber tennis ball. <laughs> put a tennis ball. I remember being at a, a jousting thing in Chillum. Did I tell you about this? I don't think I did. And we were at a jousting at a tournament in Chillum. Right now, before one I waffle, what we've got to do, this was years ago. I could have only been about 17 or so. Right. So now we've got to put the bit here 
where, what he, where he's holding it. So let's get his arm in first. So his shoulder's here, his elbow's there, and then his arm goes in underneath this protective bit. Okay, you want it? Right, so now this bit, let's just put a triangle there. We'll sort out all the, the, the fluting afterwards. So we've got a triangle. It's like a, a kind of a funnel. Another, another plunger. <laughs> right, get rid of all that stuff inside. There you go. That looks actually proper. Yeah, and his arm's in there. So he's got his, he's inside there, isn't he? This is hollow-ish, right. And then we've got the same on this side. Are you happy with this? I, I can't come in a lot closer. Not without, but maybe a little bit. Right, okay. Okay, Lance. <laughs> right, so we'll get his arm in. The Spaniard, I think he's Spanish. I don't know why. I think it could be to do with his trousers. So this one, also, he's got this flounce thing, this protective bit. Uh, that's useful. And then his arm's in underneath again. Right, so get his arm in. That's at least get his elbow sorted. And then we'll put the, the flouncy bit. We'll just put it in. We can always decorate it afterwards, remember? Right, that'll do. Let's have a look if that looks right. If I take all this bit away now. Yeah, he looks... At, you. I don't think he wants to hold it back a bit further. I think he'd struggle holding that, wouldn't he? I think we're going to bring it back a bit. So his arms... For some reason, it doesn't, it, it, it looks, right, okay, bit bigger, bit more of that going on. Yeah, I reckon that'll be about right. Bring his elbow back a bit. He's got armour on as well, hasn't he? So we'll give him some, we'll give him a bit of armour. This is where he, yeah, look, he's bigger than this. Right, so a bit of back, back protection just in case. <laughs> Got to cover your back, right? Okay, and then and then I think at the waist here we've got this. You know they do that, don't they? They've got like that that bit there. But we'll worry about that afterwards. Just get, yeah. It looks better if you take the the horse out of the middle, like that. Hey, so then you've got. How's yours looking? Is he on the horse? <laughs> right. So we could actually do a bit of a scallop thing here, couldn't we? So it looks more fluted. There we are, that will do in a minute. And then we've got his little pantaloons on. Could probably bend his leg a bit more, that might help. Right, these are stripy as well, but we'll do that later. And then he's got his he's got his foot in the stirrup. We won't worry about the stirrup right now. Let's just get his foot, he's just hanging, he's just dangling there now. That'll do. One thing at a time. No, he hasn't got a little curly bit at the end, Grey. There we are. Right, this one looks a bit ropey. He looks all right. I'm not sure about his arm, though. Is this too big, do you think? Let's just thin this out a bit. There's something not right here. Come on, Barbara. Let's get this a bit smaller, because he would really struggle. That's his arm there. That's better. Okay, just bring that up like that. Okay, I reckon. So that's the same as it was before. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Right, that'll do for the minute. Just when in doubt, hang about. So we've got him sorted out. And then the next thing we're going to do is do his part, his bit here. So he's got, have a look, he's got the same thing going on, this little skirt. He's got a bit of a skirt going on as well. So a skirt hides a host of evils, doesn't it? Right, put a little skirt on him. Right, okay. And then his legs. So he's got his legs coming like that, and then he's got his Big knees. Right, that'll do. Okay, could be worse. We haven't done the helmet yet. Helmet. This was quite a challenge. I remember doing this. and Jar just started thinking, crap, look, he looks like he's a Formula One way. <laughs> look at his helmet. Look. Look at his helmet. <laughs> right, you on it? Okay, let's do his helmet. Because we're going to do that. So make a gap for his mouth right they've got to be able to see something so we'll make a we'll make a slit like that that's a good start right just make a slit maybe pointing downwards a bit right so you know like a visor and he's going to bring that down over the top 
look, see? So you make a little slit in his in his in his helmet, like that, and maybe give it a bit of a neck, because they do usually have a neck, don't they? <laughs> break it down. Just break it down. You watch how good this is going to look in a minute. Right? So he's got a little take a cheese out, take a chunk out. So he's got his he's got to be able to see something. And then make a little neck because he's one of, you don't want to get stabbed in the neck that's the last place you want to get stabbed so we're going to make a little like that there look at that bingo right and then you've got a little visor so you could even you could even put a mince yeah there you are look just do that so it looks like it's flat down hey eh? and then you could put a little knobble on the back as well like a little and then that's going to be where for example you can put a bit of ribbon his lady's handkerchief, a towel. <laughs> there you are. All right, so you've got a bit of that going on as well. This will do. Nice. Yeah, so they've got they've got these they've got their colours fly they're flying their colours, aren't they? There we are. Right, so we've got the heads. I'm not so sure about this bloke's that's all right though. We're gonna work on this 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 area now, and then we'll sort the horses out. How are we doing for time? We're cool. Right, so let's do this now. Sir Lancelot, well, I don't believe it. Why have I never figured that out? Is there something wrong with me? That is too strange. Yeah, so I remember going to this, years ago, we went to this jousting thing in Chillum, near, near Canterbury, I think it is. Let's get his arm in. And, um, so yeah, I think I want to do something a bit more like that. And it might come round a bit more. There you go. That's a bit more protective. And they were doing this jousting. That was really interesting. His back looks weird. What's he got a backpack on? <laughs> That's good. What's that <laughs> Hang on. Let's get his back sorted out. He looks like he's got a backpack on. He's a proper biker, this chap. That looks more like it. Right, get his back in. He looks much better. He looks quite dapper, doesn't he? Hey? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Um, yes, and then one of the jousters came off his horse. This is at Chillum, okay? And then this... St. John's Ambulance came on with a stretcher, but we thought it was all part of the act because the the chap at the front was really tall. He looked about seven foot, skinny as a rake, the, the St. John's Ambulance chap. And the one at the back, the back of the stretcher, he was half his size. So his little legs were going because he was half the size and he was as round as the other one was tall. So his legs were going like twice, 10 to the dozen, because he had to keep up with the tall bloke at the front. Anyway, we all thought it was part of the act because it was just comical, but it wasn't. It wasn't. The bloke was really hard. He was, he was injured. And then they took him off in an ambulance. So it wasn't, it wasn't, we were all laughing, thinking it was part of the show. And it wasn't. He actually hurt himself. Um, so that's what I remember when we went to Chillum. While I've got my rubber in my hand, I'm going to take these crosses. Remember when we deconstructed the horses? There we go. They already look better. So now we've got the horses and also where that where the where the the cross was really you if you think about it you could actually put the I'm not very good at horses the bridle part the bit between his teeth you could put that there and then that could sort of that would help you in a minute see that work and then, they, and then they have a bit around there as well, don't they? To hold it all together. There you are, see? Wunderbar. So that bit there will help you. <laughs> it's quite good, isn't it? Yeah, there you are. That needs to go up a bit. It needs to be attached. Take that off there. Bring it in here like that. That's better. Like that. Okay. Eye. Eye. Horse's eye. Got to get it in the right place. You might have to have a couple of runs at this. I would say the eye, the eye goes there. Let's just make a little dot until you're happy with where you've put the eye. Yeah, I reckon about there's. Yeah, that's about right. 
and on this horse, about there. Yeah, he should have something protective on as well, really. We we'll have, might have to come back to that. Yeah? His nose, that bit looks a bit big, doesn't it? Let's thin that out a bit. Now he looks like a hot a donkey. <laughs> now he doesn't look quite as noble now, does he? Looks more like a... A donkey. I might have to go back to the rounded bit. It looks a bit more like a proper horse if you do that. Not funny how that changes it. It's all right. Yeah, definitely stick with the round. Otherwise, he starts to look like a donkey. He, he, he always calls me that. Right. Okay. That'll do. His feet are in the stirrup. He's got his big knobbly knee bit. That's it. That's what they do. They have like a, a section, like a joint, don't they? Give him. What about. Do they think they wear spurs? Do you think they have. No, they're not cowboys. <laughs> I'll do that anyway, just because it looks nice. Okay, so he's got his helmet on. He's got his neck protector. Yeah, that looks quite good, doesn't it? Really, come on. And then you've got the front chest bit. That will work really nicely. And then we're going to get the fluted bit. The there we go, the patterns around here. Lovely, 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 lovely. All right. Happy with that? Have you got yours? I feel like I'm on my own in the building because I, I, because I was having a little moment. Let me go back to the chat. Are you all there? That feels better. I feel like you're all there now. It's a stick. It's a stick. <laughs> Lance. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I know. Right. I'm much happier now you're in the, in the building with me again. Yeah. I just had to switch off all the chatter because it was making me panic. I was trying to read and think at the same time, and I can't do that at the best of times. So we've done our two nights of the round table, okay? And, um, and one of them's called Sir Lance a lot. And the other one, we're going to give another name. I used to love that. I love all that Camelot and Guinevere and Arthur and the sword in the stone. And I just, I love those films, don't you? I always, I always enjoy those. Um, yeah. Yeah, I love that. That I don't know if I'd have liked to have lived in that period, but I enjoy, I enjoy visiting that period in films and books, you know, something about it that appeals to me. So now we're going to have a look at the, um, we'll have a look at the, the curtain. I'm sure it's not called a curtain. Let's have a look. I've got a lot going on at the moment in my head. I've got a lot going on outside of the shack. You know, we all, you know, life is kind of going back, isn't it? to not, I don't think it's going back to normal. I don't think it'll ever go back to normal like it was, but it's certainly things are, things are resuming. Right, let's make a line here, halfway up this, this border that we made, yeah? And then what we'll do is, we'll do this, we'll make this, that's very sort of medieval, isn't it? That fabric there. To me, that looks very medieval. So, so what we're going to do is come along here and make the like arches. Where should we start? Should we start in the middle? Start in the middle. You probably might be a good idea if we did another line about halfway up or a little bit further, just above halfway above that one, like just to give you something to go towards, yeah? So I think I'm going to come along there and then go like that and then come along like that. That works, doesn't it? I think this looks about right. Hey? Okay. Yeah, nice. What do you think? Make a little arch, come along, make an arch, come along. Oh, hello. <clears throat> Yesterday I went up to Peterborough, up to the TV studios for a meeting. Um... So that was a long day. I didn't get home until gone nine o'clock. Um, it was lovely to catch up with everybody at, at Hochanda or the craft store, as we call it now. 
It was nice to see everybody again, you know, catch up with my friends. Um, so, yeah, big decisions to make. We're, I'm definitely going to be coming, going up to the studios again. I think from the first of, you know, the first Sunday of June, I'll be back in the building, back in the studio. So that's a big, you know, that's a big change because for, for, for a while now, since lockdown last March, I've been Skyping. I've been doing the TV shows that way, haven't we? And um, so that's quite a big, is that too busy, do you think? No, I think that's about right what we've done there, don't you? Yeah, that's nice. I like that. So when you step away from your picture, that looks quite good, doesn't it? And um, it's my decision. Nobody's encouraged me or told me that I needed to. It's a, it's a choice that I've made. And Paul's up for it as well. So that's what we're going to do. I think it just, it, I think it, apart from anything, it will, it will, it helps the presenters. I mean, it must be a, quite the challenge, you know, to stand there on your own and bounce back and forth. It's quite a technical challenge. So I'll get back in the building. It'd be nice to see everybody again. There's nothing like face to face, is there? Let's face it. Ha ha ha. Yeah. So, so that was something that we, we decided yesterday. <laughs> you got that all right? Now, the next thing we're going to do, we'll leave this bit. We'll give ourselves a little bit of room, right? Because there's a little bit of wiggle room here. And now we're going to add the people, the people. So if we look at my people, <laughs> Sir Shackalot, I love it. Sir Lancelot and Sir Shackalot. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to get his knees in. So Shackalot is cool. Right, so we've got the king and the queen. We, let's have a look. The, I just sort of drew these out of, out of my head, if you like. And the idea behind the drawing, I thought, I'll show you how to do the, the faces, that's easy. Um, but I thought it's all about the headdresses, right, the hats, if you, if you want to call them hats and what they're wearing on their heads. And that probably gives them like a different rank. So the king and the queen, for example, in the center, you can see immediately which ones they are. So we've got Arthur and Guinevere. And then you've got, you can see, you've got the different ladies in waiting. And you've got a bard there. You see the poet with a berry on up the end. Let's see if I can, there, see the berry. The beret. I thought we'd make one with a beret. We've got those tall hats. I like those hats. I was talking to Grace last night. She said, she, she said, do you remember when I, I used to play dress ups with these on? I said, do I remember? I think the hats, the thing's still in the loft. I ought to go up and have a look if I can find it. I might wear it next week. <laughs> if I can dig it out. Right. So what we want to do here is make and I practiced before, oh, what have I done now? I've just hit a button. Sorry, hang on a minute. Oh, I hate it when I do that. What have I just hit? Let me just get rid of that. Your desktop is currently, stop sharing. Oh dear, oh dear. Right, we still all, all on track, Paul. Sorry, I just hit a button that I shouldn't have. We've, re we've moved everything in here, so it's all a bit new, right. So what I did was, I, did, I had a little practice, you see, look, and the, the idea is to make eggs. You just make these eggs where the heads are going to be. Start in the middle and then work your way out. All right. So take this line and let's add just above the line here, we're going to make some eggs, some faces. Just do the faces lightly. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do because I'm leaning on my, my fellas here. I'm leaning on Sir Shaq a lot and Sir Lance a lot. Where's one of my... Bear with me a second. Alrighty. So in the middle, I'm going to put the king and the queen. And um, I'm going to have them like at a jaunty angle. So there's one. And, and she's a bit smaller. So there's her head. Right, give them a bit of space. Can you see this okay? I'm... I'm going to press a bit harder so you can see it. Right. And then I think from there, I'll go 
this is the queen and this is the king. Let's get all the heads in. We're going to do about nine of them. So to the side of him, I'm going to put a little lady in waiting here, down there. And then I'm going to put a, a chap in here. He's looking. And then another lady in waiting there with the little tall hat. So we've got the king and the queen and three that side. And then over on this side, we'll put another lady in waiting. Then we'll put the bouncer at the back. He's the, he's the bodyguard, bouncer, bodyguard. Then we'll put the, the bard in, the poet, and then we'll have another lady in waiting up here. So you could go all the way along. You want a few more, got a few more tickets going. Look, just put a couple more in. Okay. So that's, that's our crowd. This is rent a crowd. Okay. At Camelot. Rent a crowd at Camelot. Right. I'll let you put your heads in first. Put your heads in. <laughs> Get your head in. <laughs> and that, while you're looking, I'm going to see where we're at. Yeah, lovely to have your company. I'm glad you're enjoying. Galahad, Sir Eat a lot. <laughs> I love it. It's great to have your company. It's great to have your company. You know, I think that one of the reasons why I'm... <clears throat> Nervous. I woke up nervous. I went to bed nervous like that and I woke up and I think it was because um, I, I was on my own. I drove to the, I haven't been on the motorway like that for a long time. You know, two and a half hours, big meeting, big decisions, two and a half hours back, big rainstorms on the motorway going up in middle England. It was in the afternoon or, you know, I got up there about lunchtime. It was quite, quite bad weather. So, you know, that's a long drive for somebody that hasn't driven that far for a year and a half. You know, that's what it's down to, isn't it? Over a year. And, and, and then, <clears throat> yeah, I suppose that's, that's what it is. That's what's caused the anxiety. And then the decision to go back to the studios, you know, having been on my own, you know, um, all those things, I guess, you know, the subconscious is a powerful thing. Even at a conscious level, we think everything's fine, you know, I'm dealing with it. But then underneath the surface, <clears throat> I think it takes a little while for the subconscious to kind of come in tune or align itself with, with what the conscious mind has decided, you know. Somehow inside I'm going, no, no, not yet. But on the outside, I know I've got to, you know, so there's this little bit of turmoil going on. And that's why we're breathing and that's why we're hanging out in the shack shack. And that's why we're drawing these little people, people, lovely little people. Right, I'm going to put these glasses on and then we'll get on with the hats, the headdresses, the crowns. Yeah, and we'll take one at a time. We'll do one at a time and then we'll go right through and do all the faces. Okay. You'll be surprised how quickly this works. So we're in focus and we're going to go, let's go to the king first. So the king's this one here. Right now, the king's crown. Let me just, going to cut in on his head here. Don't worry about cutting off the, the egg. We'll rub it out. And then we're going to give him a proper, like a proper crown. So we'll give him a crown and it's going to have one, two, three, four, like that. One, spikes, and then maybe a, that's a bit too many for a little crown. I'm going to go three spikes. Right, here we go. So one, two, down, up, down, up. That's better. And then we'll put two in the back. Bingo. So we're going to go like that, like that. We can make it tall if you like, if you want to make it a bit more attractive. And then dots at the end, jewels. There you go. He's definitely the king now. <clears throat> so we've made him the king and we're going to get his head in, give him a pair of ears. Right, hat first. Sort the hat out, Gray. Right, don't worry about his shoulders. Let's do the hats. Right, that hat first. Now, the girl, the lady, the queen, again, got her, her head. Right, headdress starts here. Can you see this all right? Should I get in even tighter? I don't know how much you can see. Whoa, that's too much. Sorry, people. Sorry, friends. Right, see if that works better. Is that better? So on her, how about we do this, but we go up like a kind of a, like that. 
I think that looks like a, a kind of a queenie hat. And then we'll make bigger jewels on her. So that's gone up and up and round. That's her, that's her headdress. That looks nice. And we'll give her a little bit of a, there you go, jewels in there as well. Very posh. Right, so that's her hat or her crown. Can you see this okay? We'll get rid of the... He's got a bit of a jaw, hasn't he? We can always make her face a bit thinner afterwards. This is all just rough, remember? Right. Now, let's go to... So we've got them two. They're the important players. And now we're going to go to the lady-in-waiting on this side. Right, this could be it. Maybe it's her sister. So we'll give her a little bit of a centre part in, like that. Have a look. We're going to give her a centre parting, and then we'll put um, like a drape around her head, like a not a towel, you know, like a, a flowing, like that. And then it's going to come round like that. So don't put too much on her because we're going to sort her shoulders out. But she's got a centre part in and she's got a bit of a, like that. Okay, just leave her there for a minute. We'll come back to her. So we've got to put her shoulders in. That changes the, the whole thing. Right, now, I think she'll be nice. Get your rubber out. <laughs> okay. Let's keep going this way. Now, here we've got the big fella. So this is quite a nice hat, this one. He's got quite a good hat on. So we're going to give him a, again, start there, halfway down. That's his face. And then what we'll do is we'll go up and we'll just bring it down. Like Doesn't that look like a proper medieval hat? And then just give him where his, he his head actually sits, inside there. We'll give it that like that. See? So now he's got a hat on. Right, that'll do. He definitely looks like. And then we'll go to the bard. So the bard's just got a cap on, like that. There you go. That'll be, and then he, he kind of, so what they do is, let's just turn him around. He's looking at her. He's got a soft spot for this one. He's not even watching the jousting. So we'll put his head in that way. So he's facing her. He's talking to her. And then he's got a little bit of a wrap going on. You know, like a bit round the... There you go. That'll do. That's him sorted. And now my favourite. So we're going to get the tall Guinevere. Not Guinevere. This is the lady in waiting. She's got one of those tall hats. Wait, you're not that tall. I won't get through the door. So we'll give them a... There we are. One of those. That'll look nice. And a little bit of a... Round there. And then from here... Of course, you get all your flowing, all your bit, don't you? all your lovely chiffon. Okay. <laughs> right, so we do that later. Right, so that's, that's her hat sorted. We've decided what hats we're going for. We've got that hat going on there. We've got the, the kind of the, the one with the wrap. Then we've got this one. He looks a bit Henry VIII-y, but it's a little bit... Can always change that a bit, can't we? It looks a bit too tall. And we're going to give him a beard as well. He's a beardy bloke. Right, then we've got the king and the queen in there. We've got a lady in waiting there. Then we've got another lady in waiting here. She's just standing a little bit too close to the king. A bit of social, bit of social distancing we required here. So we put her back in there. She's got one of those around her head. Um, and, then, and then it goes out from there. So we'll just leave her for that moment. And then we've got another guy. I think we need to create a bit more social distance here, Gray. We'll put him there. He quite likes her. He's got a bit of a soft spot for her, this one. And he's got another one of these hats on, but it's a squarey one. Do you know one of those ones? That'll look quite good. So it's more of a square job. There we are. That'll do. And then it goes like that. Yeah, that'll look good. <clears throat> That's nice. I like that. How are we doing for time? Oh, we've got plenty of time. And then we're going to, I'm going to, Scrap her. I'm going to put another lady in waiting on this side as well. She's standing there and and she's got another one of those tall hats on. 
So there you go, like a cone, like an ice cream cone. And then she's got the bits coming off there as well. Right, so we've sorted out the hats and we've got the positioning right. Are you cool with this? I really like this. Right, that's her done. Now we've done that, I'm going to go in and do the shoulders. Because the shoulders will create the depth. Who's in front? Who's at the back? Who's got the front seat? Who's got the cheap seat? Okay. Clearly, the queen's at the front. So now we're going to bring her her neck. She's delicate. The necks will tell you whether it's a man or a woman. This is really what I think. Can we see this okay, Paul? I can't, I don't think I can go in any closer. But the neck tells you whether it's a man or a woman. And she's right at the front. So let's call this the, the limit, right? This is where, this is as far as they can come down. Right, so her neck's like that. And then she's got, she's got lots of jewels on because she's a queen. Okay. And then the neck comes down a bit further. She's, she's got jewels on. And, and then her shoulder is there, like that. So that's the queen. And I would say she's got a, there, that sort of dress, square bodice. You know, that's, that's very queeny, isn't it? Right? And then it comes up at the, like that. Very regal. Do you see what I'm doing? Yeah, that looks very queeny. There you are. So she's got a dress on that's got fur around the up like mink yeah there you are that's the queen i love doing this sort of thing and then her face we can thin her, her eggy head out and let's just make her look more now she looks yeah that looks good enough okay okay so we've done the queen now let's do the king so he's looking at her He's got a bit, he's a bit further away than he ought to be, really. But maybe they've just had a little bit of a fallout. Right. So let's get him in. And he's behind her. And he's got a thicker neck. The neck will always give away the thick neck, man. Right. Big ears. We can decide whether we want to give him a beard or not. I haven't decided yet. Now, he, I reckon he's got a big, you know, like um, like a mare, chain like not not chain mail, but he's got a big thing around his neck, like a yeah, like the mare. And then he's quite a big fella. There you go. So he's round the back, and he's got. You could even give him like um a wrap around thing. That'll do. Right, he's there. He's quite handsome. You can tell, can't you? Right, he's got his crown on. All right. And then his ears are a bit higher up than they need to be. <laughs> are you still there? Have you given up with me? I quite like doing this. There you go. His ears need to come down a bit. I thought he looked a bit strange. Okay, so we've got the king and we've got the queen. Now let's go to anybody who's in front. Let's go. So I think, I think she's going to be in front. Do all the ones in front, and then we can always drop the other ones back. Right. I'm going to put her in front. Okay. So we'll thin her face out a bit. She's got a, quite a big headdress on, and it's coming down. Right, there she is. Okay. And she's got a long neck. She's a young girl. She's... Very pretty. She's got quite a low cut dress, but not too not too showy. There we are. That'll do. Quite nice. And then we're gonna go with the flowing. That's quite nice. There you go. So she's got a bit of that flowing thing going on. There we are. So that's, that's quite good, isn't it? 
Yeah, there you are. And then she's where she they've got that kind of thing going on, haven't they? But we can always do that afterwards. But I just wanted to sort of show you. Yeah. I'm not sure about that scallop. I don't think that looks right. I don't think that scallop is was the fashion. I'm going to go with a straight, straight edge. That looks more like it. That's more, I think. And probably a little thing around the neck. Maybe. Okay. Now, so we've got her at the front. We've got the queen at the front. We've got the king. He's right behind her. And then I would say that, again, I would be tempted to put the bard at the front or her. Should we put the lady in waiting? I think she needs to be at the front again. Because she would be. She'd be right at the front, leaning over, wouldn't she? <laughs> right. Neck. Skinny neck. Uh, really skinny neck, lovely straight shoulders, and then there's her dress. Right, and then we've got to remember the bard. So we'll get his, we'll get her, there we go, get her lovely, that'll do. That's it, sorted. Right, and then we'll we'll put her arm in. That's it. She's down there under, behind the, the railing, safety, the safety railing. Right, now we've got the bard. So, he looks a bit weird. What's going on with his head? Are we enjoying this? Are you, are you going to join me this evening for the second session of the butterfly? We've got um, the butterfly craft along at seven o'clock this evening, haven't we? Are you going to join me for that? Right now, he needs seven o'clock, same place. Do you remember we... Right, and he's got a bit of a cloak going on. That's what I want. He's got that weird... Don't, don't get caught up. Yeah, there we are. I think that she's in front of him, though, don't you? Or should I put him in? No, maybe he's a bit... He's a bit pushy. There you go. Put him in front. That's it. What is that? It's supposed to be a like a, a brooch here and then and then something like that yeah that was more like it and then she's behind him there we are right so that's him this lady in waiting she's another one that needs a little so her i think we'll put her how's your how is your uh royal party looking it's not over till it's over you see until you finish it's not finished that's something that you've always got to kind of, you know, it might look a bit ropey, but it's not done yet. You know, until until they're all in place. There you go. So she's got that lovely, lovely tiny waist. There you are. And then her headdress, she's quite modest. So she's got that, she's got that over the top of her head. And she's got let's give her a bit of hair so you can see what she's actually that's it and then she's got that that look that looks a bit yeah right it's easy and and it, but it takes a little bit of time right and then we've got this one here she's easy she's behind the king so she's just got that she's older though so she, her, her neck's not as skinny and long and we'll just put her in. There you go. That's her shoulders. And she's got one of those. So you've got that band around the head that holds it all in place. She's the mother. Okay. There she is. Right. She's the queen, the king's mother. That's why they keep these two apart. <laughs> right. And then we've got this fella. He's the lawyer. You know he's the, definitely... He's the le he's in charge of the legals, so that's why he's got a square hat on. We could even give him a bit of a that'll do, right? Ear there, and then ear ear today gone tomorrow, and then he has got just a a neckline because he's 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 all that's it. That's definitely what he would be wearing, right? Nothing too posh. Perfect. Right, and then we've just got the bruiser in the back who's got a neck like a tree trunk. He's the he's the one to look out for. 
and then we'll give him a kind of a a wrap over there we are like that how's that look yeah defo he definitely looks about right didn't they look they look so good don't they right so we've done that we've done that we've got all the people in place now comes the trick with the faces so what we're going to do I mean, you could try it on the side if you like, or on a bit of scrap. It's dead easy. Just take, just take, this is the face, and you're just going to make a nose, the nose, and then at the end, before you come up, you just make a line and make a, a dot. That's it. That's all you're going to do. So we'll start with the king, and we'll work our way out. So, for example, go down really lightly. So it's just a line in the middle of a face and a dot. A line and a dot. This is, I don't know why I think, I, I just started trying to, I thought, how am I going to draw the faces? Line, little dot for the mouth. And then again, from the centre parting down, and a dot. And he, the bruiser, you could give him a moustache. So it goes like that, and then up, and then the dot is at the where the three join. So your bard, he's looking at her, so make his nose come that way and make the dot. See? And straight away, you've changed his where he's looking, because his nose is going that way, yeah? And then her, she's looking up her nose, down her nose at him, there, she's not that impressed. Right, and then this little lady, that's it, and he's looking, they all look surprised, because the little dot, they're all like, oh no! Now that, the last one went wrong, she looks, that doesn't look right. And that's why we have a rubber. Yeah, so tonight, still don't look right. Tonight at seven o'clock in the evening, I'm going to show you the butterflies. Do you remember we were working on them? That's it. No, she still don't. What is going on with her? Right, start again. Just do it lightly. Bring it down and then down and dot. I might change the shape of the head on this one then because she just... Isn't that weird? They all look perfect, and this one's gone a bit weird. I'm going to make her face a bit longer. That's more like it. Longer and thinner. There we are. So I've got all my faces in. I've got all my headdresses in. Doesn't that look great? I love it. And then, of course, we can, can do that. That looks very medieval. Very Maid Marian, that does. Right, and then we can give them a little bit of a patterns on their dresses and cool this is so cool are we happy with this we're going to be here for a little while i think in camelot but i'm i'm cool with that because i i really like this this style and we're working on tracing paper which means that we can change it can't we now let me see so that, I think, that'll do for today. That gives you plenty to be going on with, doesn't it? To get those those people, get all their faces, get them working right, get the crown in. Hey, what do you think? I really like this. I think this is going to look so cool. Now, what I wanted to show you is tonight, let me just get my ducks in a row here. Tonight at 7 o'clock, we started on the... Um, yeah, craft along. If you've got the, do you remember the butterflies? If you've got the butterflies, to, tonight we're going, we're going to, uh, let's go away. Sorry about that. We're going to look at these beautiful butterflies by Cherry Green, these stamps, and we're going to carry on where we left off. So I was showing you how to stamp on parchment with these glorious pieces of artwork. So that's, that's tonight at seven o'clock, the craft along. We're here to keep you company. The other thing worth mentioning as well is that there's a beautiful, on the subject of butterflies, there's a beautiful um, offer of the week this week. That's, it's, you buy this one, you get this one. I'll show you. You get this one, complete with masks. And you get this one free. So you buy that one, get that one free. And you can see here the artwork is pretty spectacular. So today I'm going to, um, I've got a lovely step-by-step. -step. 
using these projects, which I'm going to blog for you. But these are pretty cool. And these are actually the these were the very first groovy plates um, that we that we um, that we developed. And so we've now finally we've turned them into we've turned them into stamps. Isn't that lovely? Yeah. So it's a great offer because you get a ten pound set with the other set which is 15 pounds so you get for 15 pounds you get both of them which i think is a great deal so paul will give you the um the link to that and then the other thing that of course to remember is that we've got a wiggy sale going on this week when it's gone it's gone so there's a load of hundreds of things on the website claritystamp.com paul will give you the link and it's all half price plus your members discounts it's well worth investigating so, so there's plenty there but the main thing that i wanted to talk about is tonight's seven o'clock craft along with the butterflies and then other than that tomorrow morning um, Paul is on the craft store on telly and he's got the Pergamano show. So that will be, that will be, uh, yeah, fabulous, really nice stuff. So look out for Paul. And that is at, I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, it's 11 o'clock and three o'clock. Paul, can you correct me if I'm wrong? But I'm sure it's 11 o'clock and three o'clock. So that's the Pergamano show tomorrow on the craftstore.com. And other than that, I shall see you back in Camelot because we're not getting together on Friday, remember? So I'll see you back in Camelot on the Shack Shack bus on Monday at 10 o'clock in the morning. So I know that it's going to take a little longer now. And, but that's okay because, like I said, to me, this is like um, a vehicle. You know, we're learning how to draw horses and how to draw people. And and then next week we'll put the marquee in and then we'll be ready to transfer. We'll, on Monday, we'll do the marquee and the flags and then we'll just about we'll do the frame. And then probably the week after we'll transfer and create some fantastic art. So I know that things take a little bit long, but that's not really why we're doing this. We're doing this so that we can hang out together and learn as we go. And um, yeah, it's just part of our lovely stay home and craft routine, isn't it? So why not? Hey, so if you want to join me next Monday to continue with this 10 o'clock, same place, same time. And other than that, have a, a fabulous week, stay safe. And I'll see you next Monday. Lots of love. No, I'll see you this evening at seven o'clock. Don't forget. Bye bye now. Bye bye.